There is a popular theory put forward by Everett Rogers called the diffusion of innovations, which seeks to look at how new ideas and technology spread. It looks at how successive groups of customers might buy into a new product or technology. This bell curve represents the different customers and can be broken down into segments from the innovators and early adopters to the laggards. The market share or growth can then be plotted as an S-curve. According to Rogers, 50% of the way along your scale-up journey, you will have 50% of your customer base. Later models, such as Bass's diffusion model, suggested that it's more likely you would only have 40% of your customer base when you reach that halfway point. But our research, based on data from a large number of science and technology-enabled businesses over a 10-year period, shows that these are wildly optimistic. The reality is that most companies only have 10% of their customer base by the halfway point. Here, we're looking at our data on a linear scale, and it looks as if cumulative customer growth stalls once. But there are actually two stages before this that are easier to see if we plot the graph using a log scale. Now we can see that the journey of scale-up consists of periods where this diffusion is interrupted by discontinuous growth in customer adoption. This is what we call the triple chasm model. Each of these moments can be defined as chasms that a company needs to cross in its commercialization journey. Chasm 1 describes the transition from product or service concept to a working prototype. Chasm 2 describes the transition from early product or service to a fully functional one with a commercially sustainable business model. Chasm 3 describes the transition from early customers to the main body of customers as the firm scales significantly. This revelation shows us that it takes companies a lot longer to achieve meaningful early traction than has generally been assumed. This clearly has implications for the level of resources they will require. Interestingly, our research found no evidence for the different customer types identified by Rogers. Instead, we identified three different types of customers at the three different chasms, which can be summarized as follows. At chasm one, we have prototype customers. At chasm two, we have charter customers. And at chasm three, we have the mainstream customers. We will be looking at these different types of customers in more detail throughout the course.